I've been asked to review this Joy Access or Joy Access aluminium web camera of 1080p. Uh, so the specification comes with plug and play uh, 1920 by 1080 up to 30 frames per second of HD quality, SN ratio of um, 48 dB, dynamic range of 72 dB. God knows what that means, but I'm sure it's very good. Focus of five centimeters infinity, built-in image compression, built-in digital microphone as well, which is very good because you don't need to buy a separate microphone. Um, and automatic white balance. That's very important people, as you can see from this background. Um, and automatic color compensation as well, compensated. And um, yeah, it's a very eco-friendly package. So let's get into the unboxing. Pretty much straightforward, I would presume. Um, we got the... Wow, okay, so it's a bit of a weight, that's good. Joy SS seal and obviously USB connection. Um, where's the microphone though? I can't see where the microphone is. Probably it's those two there. And I guess those are the sensors. Kind of reminds me of those um, Microsoft um, sensor, gaming sensor. And I think that's just the simple um, product specification system requirements as well so please check it out and that's about it so it was slightly angled when i took this off from the box and yes clearly you can actually rotate it around and i presume that the way how you clip on your monitor is this is quite a clever device so there's this um, bit that sticks out and that will clip into your monitor while as there's this sponge that will fix it into a flat surface so I'll show you on my monitor. All right, so describe as per earlier. So that's what you do. So you can see it's quite cleverly done, isn't it? Well done for that design. And it's fixed. And then you can actually rotate it to your preference. And obviously I need to take out that seal. In regards to whether it's gonna damage your monitor I will confidently say that no, it should be fine because um, it's quite a comfortable fit. It's not squeezed in, it's loosened, but at the same time, quite secure. Sorry about that squeak noise, but there you go. So for the demonstration purpose, I actually um, put the webcam on top of my larger screen and you don't need to do any installation manually. The windows will install it automatically for you. So this HD web camera is all installed and ready to go. Right, so you can see that I'm using this bandy cam. This is normally what I use for recording screens. And um, I'm just want to show you that at the moment, the face, my face here, is recorded by this um, Joy, Joy Assist um, webcam. And um, you can actually change the, uh, let's have a look. You can see it's a bit dark and three lightings on the back, and especially that one on the further end seems to be brighter because of the reflection I guess. Um, so what you can do on the brightness side, you can make it brighter, um, which I think is a good choice. Also the contrast, if you make it slightly more contrast there, that's much clearer. Um, bear in mind it's actually evening quite late here. Saturation as well, that's too much, so you could make it a bit more lively. Um, sharpness, let's see if that works. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Um, because there's a tiny screen here. Um, also white balance, you could do auto, or if you just turn it off, it's becoming all yellowy like Van Gogh. <laughs> um, but if you do auto or backlight comp as well. So these are the functions for the camera. And if you don't like it, you could press default, but I'm just gonna apply that. All right, so I'm hosting a Zoom conference call meeting at the moment so on the zoom itself unfortunately I think you've got to adjust the uh, brightness and sharpness and etc so you can see it's a bit dark here on the screen but you go on the left bottom um, and then there's this make sure it's on the right camera which is the HD web camera and then video settings you go here um, and on the video let's have a look the original ratio okay that's quite cool or the HD um, so it's actually going on HD, which is good. So that's much sharper. I like that. Um, you can actually mirror uh, my video, but I prefer this angle. You can touch up my appearance as well because it's still dark. 
unfortunately it is quite bright the atmosphere of the way how the camera captures is a bit dark focusing on my side I, for, I wish I had a sort of a lighting projecting to my face here um, but apologies for that but I just want to use this as a good example to do if you're in a similar circumstances that I am also you could adjust the uh, light as well um, with manual so that could be quite cool or you could go for advanced as well but that's I think I think always on the video settings auto is a good call other than the brightness and the sharpness and the saturation and uh, contrast and etc so that's I think pretty much it for the video quality which I'm pretty pleased that's quite good actually I like that all right, so I just installed the Skype app hosting a meeting just to show you the quality of using the Joy Access, uh, the camera and the microphone attached to it. So you can see the lighting settings, unlike Zoom, is all automatically adjusted. So I don't feel the need of adjusting any of these settings of sharpness. It's pretty clear, sharp, and I'm really happy with it. So. Uh, if, if you do go to audio and video recording settings, one thing you do can change is the black background to be blur, <laughs> kind of Christmas Christmassy, uh, Google Office kind of feel in your own bedroom, but not the one that I was early on, and the um, office or the penthouse kind of effect. So I'll stick with this one, and um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this quality I have to say. Obviously it's not as good as the professional camera that I use for Canon M50 or the microphone that I use for recording YouTube video that you have been seeing all the time but this will be a pretty good quality for using for Zoom meetings, hosting or attending Skype meetings and etc. And I hope this video that I just I recorded helped you understand more in a more reality term. Now, unfortunately, you can see that the lighting effect on my background, there are three or four, six spotlights projecting to my head downwards, and that's some, somehow making the camera to understand that my appearance, it makes my appearance darker. But what you can do is um, add another lighting effect if you have to, if you want to brighten up your image. So if I were to use my Samsung um, mobile phone suddenly you can see the difference of appearance it's all bright enough yeah so you can do that by adding another lighting but then again do you really need to it's just for the purpose of meeting attending meeting but I just want to use this example of someone who's in a I'm sure many people will be in a similar circumstance as I am where not everyone has the lighting projecting towards their face in a more professional point of view or maybe they'll use a natural light but I guess in the most circumstances it will be uh, not using natural lights or any lightings but only lighting comes from the ceiling and etc but anyway mumble enough I hope this video explain in the more reality terms of using a joy access uh, webcam if you have any questions queries please do comment below and i'll try to come back to you as soon as possible thank you very much for watching this video this is ltp tech all the best bye bye